Okay, friends, I've finally decided that I need to talk about something that I actually enjoy. Because unlike Susathon, which is quite frankly a pain to do, and Chick Flick you wear, which I only do because I'm pretty sure me freaking out about Chick Flicks is actually entertaining, you know, it gets kind of tiring talking about things that you hate and reacting to, you know, scary stuff all the time. So anyway, the thing I love more than basically anything is Ruby. And if you know me in real life, then you've seen at least the first volume, because I'm pretty sure I made you all watch it last time you came over to my house, or possibly the time before that. Anyway, basically, one of my life goals is to make every single person I know watch it, and basically I've achieved that now. I mean, I got my grandmother to watch it when I visited her, her last time, and even my dad is watching it right now, after we went to RTX together, and he actually seems pretty into it. I mean, he's already predicting deaths and stuff, and, well, he's not exactly right. At least he's preparing himself for the horrible pain ahead. <sighs> Bye. My favorite characters. Okay, okay, I'm getting off track and having horrible Volume 3 finale flashbacks. Anyway, during this hiatus between Volumes 3 and 4, I've been re-watching the show and thinking about why I started watching it in the first place, as well as why other people should watch it because I'm starting to think that maybe it's the best show ever of all time isn't exactly the most convincing argument. In fact, it's not even an argument at all. It's really just a statement of fact. Yes, fact. Okay, opinion. But it seriously is a great show. Anyway, I figure I should make a series of videos. Yes, series. And I'm going to finish this one because I think it'll be fun. Um, and look at Ruby from a more analytic point of view looking at each volume that's been released so far and figuring out what worked really well, what didn't work out so great, and how things have improved and changed over the volumes. So here's your major spoiler warning for Ruby right now. I'm going to talk about the plot, and that means if you haven't watched the show, then I would recommend watching at least Volume 1 to get familiar with the characters, although I do plan on dedicating at least parts of some of the episodes of the series to the different characters, and what their general personalities are as they get introduced. So definitely the girls of Team Ruby will get their own episode, and probably Team Juniper as well, although Ren and Nora haven't really had that much character development. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I'll also be talking about what got me watching this show in the first place, and why this show just means so much to me. Because for me it's not just a great show, but it also has some important meaning to my life. It's the kind of show that's been there for me, well, when things weren't so fantastic in my life. And then things got horrible in the show, too, so that was fun. Oh, Volume 3. I'll, I'll get to that later. Anyway, hopefully this video itself has come out fairly short, because I plan for the series as a whole to be fairly long, with each volume getting at least two episodes to itself, potentially more. Because, well, I need something to do until October 22nd when Volume 4 comes out and I start doing reaction videos. Yeah. That's going to happen. You'll get to enjoy watching me freak out over Ruby <laughs> in real time. Yay! Anyway, now you know what's coming up on this channel. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so, for those of you who might be wondering where those Bioshock Let's Plays that I said would be more frequent are, uh, here's the TLDR of it. I've been storing my Let's Plays on my laptop after I lost my USB drive that I used to save them on, and then my laptop decided to crash and I had to completely wipe the hard drive and redo absolutely everything, so I lost all of the upcoming Let's Plays, which were about six Let's Plays, which is three hours of gameplay, yay. And, well, because I save over older saves, I now have to start a brand new game of Bioshock and play through the game again until I get back to the point I was at the end of the last Let's Play I released. <sighs> yeah, it sucks, but I am working on it, and hopefully this Ruby series will keep you entertained while I go through Bioshock again. Something I never, ever plan to do. Anyway, I think you can expect new Let's Plays before the end of August, so thanks for being patient with me and my crap-tastic laptop. Anyway, thanks for watching, and look forward to those Let's Plays eventually. And this new Ruby series coming much sooner. I hope. Bye!